Alright guys, uh, Steven here, and I'm going to show you how to splash safely on PvP worlds. Um, what you need to do to start with is you need to come to Falador East Bank in Falador, obviously, and you need to attack a dwarf. Now, um, I lured it here, um, but there's nothing messed up with my recording, and I lost everything, uh, and it didn't save properly. So I'm going to take it all the way back to the start point, and then re-lure it, just to show you how it's done. Um, so basically this is quite good as it enables you to splash safely for six hours in a PvP world as you're attacking something in a bank. So a similar method to a um, spider. However, obviously for this you need some more tanky gear as they are level 11. So they hit a little bit higher than a, than a level 1 that can't hit anything. Um, so for that method, uh, if you're on defense pure, this isn't really viable. Um, you do need some defense just to tank them for six hours, um, but obviously with my setup that's very easy. Um, so, for example, there'll be a dwarf in this area over here, and there's one attackable ones and three that you can talk to usually. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to attack him. Then you want to make sure you don't have run on, because if you have run on, then you run away and it gets very annoying and he won't follow you. Um, so then you just want to walk him all the way up. Um, to the bank. Um, it does work and it's very good, however some dwarves don't like to get lured into the bank, like they'll follow you almost the whole way to the bank and then will suddenly stop following you and it's almost like they've hit the limit of their range. So if that happens and you get close to a bank and the dwarf's not following you, don't worry, you've just picked the wrong dwarf and you know, um, <laughs> just go and try another dwarf, it's fine, um, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm not doing it on a PvP world at the moment because there were a couple of PKs at a PvP world and I just wanted to get this video out to show you how it's done. Um, but yeah, if you are going to do it on a PvP world, just make sure you just have two tanky items and your smoke battle staff and then check your items risked on death before you go out just to make sure that you aren't risking smoke battle staff in Stacey come and comes. Um, as you can see from my inventory, um, that... Um, I do, or you can't see now, this is a recording over because my voice messed up when I did this first time. Um, so yeah, uh, basically you can see I have teleport runes and a few sharks just in case a PK does come so I can get away quickly. Um, with those runes I'd recommend just teleporting to Var uh, not Var Camelot because it's safe. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Um, obviously you can go splash at Castle Wars. Um, but you need a friend to do that, and I don't have friends, so this is a very good method for me. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I really hope this video has helped you guys out and shows you another safe way to splash on old school and means that you won't be killed by any PKs using bonds on you. And if you are going to AFK properly and not be at the screen, this is a very useful method. So yeah, I hope this helps you out and see you soon.